welcome everybody. Randy Replay back at it again. Minnesota Twins baseball back at it again. As the White Sox and Minnesota wrap up this four-game series, Jose Quintana, 1-1, one 275 ERA. Irvin Santana, 2-0, 120 ERA. Minnesota Twins lead the series 2-1. And if we look at the calendar, we look at the loss they picked up yesterday, 10-8. to Made it interesting Going into the last couple innings, it was 9-3. to three. We come back, and we give up another couple home runs. We hit a couple home runs and uh, ultimately lose 10-8. to eight. So we're going to get this thing going. No pregame, really, except if we take a look at the roster, we will take a look at... Richard Salfie is now carrying an average of 242. Obviously, if you're, if you're not caught up, he has to maintain a 200 average to come out of this series. In the MLB so far, he's at 242. They might hold him out today just to keep him here. We'll see. Minnesota Twins baseball up next. Here are the starting lineups for each team. Minnesota Twins 9-5 on the season. Paul Fritchie, Jesse Peterson, Earnhardt, Demetio, Fair Rosu, Fitzer, Nehemiah Rosu, Richard Salty, batting cleanup. Laker, Ojeda, Abreu, Batista, Curtis, Samuels, Anderson, Moncada, and Tilson for the White Sox as we in. It is raining here at Target Field today, but uh, league officials said that it's not going to postpone the game, so we did not move this game to the Metrodome last minute. But here come the Vikings. It is dark here. The rain is coming down, but it's like, a, like, they, like I said, league officials will not... Um, postpone it. Happy Jackie Robinson Day to everybody in baseball territory. Obviously, Jackie Robinson, one of the most important players in MLB history. So we commemorate him on this day. There's the 2018 stats for Irvin Santana. And we'll see what he can do. 16 strikeouts on the season. He's going to face Bob Laker here in the beginning of this one. Thunder rolls here at Target Field as the first pitch is a recorded strike by Bob Laker, number 42. Of course, everybody's wearing number 42 for the aforementioned Jackie Robinson. Irvin Santana able to throw on to Josh Fitzer, out number one. No player for the Twins is wearing a name, only that number on their left sleeves. In... Uh, Celebration of Jackie Robinson Day. 2018 White Sox, 297 on base base percentage. On base percentage. Good for ninth in the MLB. The entire MLB. Third pitch. Goes for a strike. Goes for a. <laughs> of course, the Twins, not the only team doing this. There's a swing. That'll be Tevin Fair out there, left field. Catching it, out number one. Out number two, sorry. Of course, the uh, Red Sox will be doing that as well. And uh, Dodgers and the Yankees and uh, a couple other teams, including the Baltimore Orioles. Doing that left sleeve, no nameplate thing. Center field for Paul Fritchie. Paul Fritchie is going to put this away. And that is a six pitch first inning for the Minnesota Twins. Middle of one, no runs, no score. Well, no hits, no score. <laughs> Gets away with six pitches, like I mentioned. Minnesota Twins do up next. Here's Jose Quintana. Three starts, one and one record. ERA of 275, 19 two-thirds innings. 21 hits allowed, five walks, 15 strikeouts. Here's Paul Fritchie leading off, 455 average. Four-seam curveball, change-up fastball here. Four-seam, two-seam. Swing is at the first pitch. Would have been called a strike anyway. Good eye. Little early. 90 miles an hour fastball. Uh, Quintana offers the second pitch. It is a fastball high. One and one now to Fritchie. Of course, the Minnesota Twins in this series playing very, very good baseball, leading the series two games to one. Nothing but fastballs for Quintana. Here's the changeup strike. Two, 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 two to Fritchie. <laughs> two, two to Fritchie. See if he can fight one off here. 
There's a ball. Full count on deck, Jesse Peterson. Now you can swing at this thing if you want to. But uh, curveball down low would have been called a strike. Good defensive swing. And here we go. 3-2, seventh pitch of Quintana's day. Fouled away, stays alive yet again. Waiting for his pitch is Paul Fritchie. ba da do 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 charge. It's early, it's a foul tip. And it's a four-pitch walk. Well, not really a four-pitch walk, but first walk of the game, really. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Jesse Peterson, three for 14 in the series, three strikeouts. Once led the league in batting average, has trailed off here a little bit, later part of the month of baseball. Curveball ends up in the dirt. Tons of movement for Quintana on that pitch, 0-1. Peterson. Throw back to first. Paul Fritchie, always a threat to steal. Got to wonder if he'll actually do it, though. Second throw back. Boo! Boo! We always boo back-to-backs here. S-T-S. S-T-S. Inside pitch. Well, outside, but inside the strike zone. Call the ball. And there's another throwback. We're going to have to start booing this guy every time he does that now. Jose Quintana really wants to keep Paul Fritchie at first base. And another one. Boo. Boo. Bow to her. Bow to her. <laughs> another throwback. Peterson will hit into the double play seemingly. And he does. Two outs here in the first. Here's Jeffrey Earnhardt in the series three for nine with a triple and an RBI. 385 average. Playing right field today. Earnhardt will ground to the shortstop inning over. So as we take a look at the retired players on to the left side, Jackie Robinson for Jackie Robinson Day. This could be two. And it is a double play to end the inning. So the Minnesota Twins proving they can play pretty good baseball here. As I believe that is... It's hard to tell who that is down there without a nameplate. I do believe that was Rosu Demetio Fitzer. A lot of beards down there. It's John Demetio first swing at a curveball down low strike one. Now Quintana will throw the curveball more times than not. There's another one down low in the dirt. Ball one. As soon as you get his cadence, where, where he throws first, second, third pitch of each at-bat, you can kind of attack him here as Paul Fritchie will fly shallow left. It's caught out number one. you got to believe there's going to be drops here, too. Here's Tevin Fair. Tevin Fair. Fastball high, drifting towards the wall and left. It is gone. Tevin Fair home run. First of the season. It's a solo 366 feet, and the Minnesota Twins take a 1 0 lead here in the bottom of the second. Line drive homer off that wall and left. We'll get that ball put away for him if the fan wants to give it up. I mean, uh, he should. First home run of his career. Or, sorry, of the season. They like to keep that sort of thing. But, uh, there you go. Stadius Rozu now. So I did guess right. It was Rozu Demetio Fitzer. Starts him off with a ball, 1-0. and Of course, Rozu has a home run in the series. This time he will hit... Deep leaf left center, leaf center. <laughs> There's out number two. Here's Josh Fitzer. Three home runs on the season. 
has uh, one in this series. So one in the last three games. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Inside curveball doesn't budge. Ball one. More thunder being heard here at Target Field, downtown Minneapolis. Outside changeup. Two balls. Now, have we gotten inside of Quintana's head by hitting that home run? I think we have. He's thrown a couple balls here that have just been so badly outside the zone. That one catches the corner. Could have gotten either way. Nehemiah Rozu do up. No home runs. And hitting 333. And that's another walk for Quintana, his second of the game. Twins get a man on base, two outs, bottom two. Here's the aforementioned Nehemiah Rozu. Quintana struggling early here. Hmm. First pitch strike. Questionable call there by the home plate umpire. That was a change up off the plate. Good idea, Maya Rozu. One and one now. Two Rozu. A low grounder, and that will be out number three, unless he beats it out, he does not. So coming up next inning, we will see Richard Salfi see if he can stay in the league. Let's go Twinkies indeed. Tevin Fair adds one here in the second. Top of the three, one nothing Twins. More thunder, more often now. Change up over the top, gets him strike number three. Swings at the high fastball, strike one. 52 degrees uh, rain, wind blowing 12 miles an hour. Almost straight line winds from right to left field. So this rain is picked up now into the third inning. So they might have to call this thing. Santana and Tilson. And it's a called strike three. Looking goes down. Irvin Santana on fire. He'll get some claps from Randy. His second strike out of the game. Bottom three, we'll see Salty Fritchie Peterson do up for the Twins. So here's Richard Salty, 242, 5 for 12 in the series, two doubles. He gets an ovation. A lot on the line for Richard Salty in terms of his future here with the Twins. Um, has to maintain a 200 average coming out of this series. Done a great job. This will be ground ball to the shortstop. Out number one. Trying to keep him under those average of 10 pitch per inning. Are the twins. There is Demetio throwing on to Fitzer. He's out. Out number two and a good play by Demetio. And Rozu throws the third out on the run. So the Twins defense getting better uh, as the season progresses. Bottom four, one nothing Twins. What will Quintana do? Earnhardt, big swing, deep left field. It is off the wall. It's off the wall and Earnhardt will stay at second. Probably could have made it to third. And there's a er uh, Jeffrey Earnhardt double, his second of the season. Big spot for the Twins. To turn two for the second time in the game. One and two, that's it. Minnesota Twins have turned two twice to end the innings. Wow, so defense bails out Santana mid five. One nothing Twins, Fitz and Rose selfie do up. Then again, that strike zone is just so small. And Nehemiah Rose in to left field. First home run of his career and first home run of the season. Sorry, I keep saying career. First home run of the season. Goodbye baseball indeed. And the Minnesota Twins now lead 2-0. Two home runs in the game for the Twins. First for Nehemiah Rozu. You saw the double swing there sweeping off the plate for when he comes around. And oh my heavens, here comes Richard Salfi. 405 feet for Nehemiah Rozu. Man, it's a strikeout. Caught him with the slider. And that breaking ball did not have any break on it. That was a good one. 
So Bob Laker is the last hope for a, a run here for the White Sox. Yeah, and it is a strike. Strike two called for Santana now. And he swings on the very inside, almost hit him slider, and the big inning is avoided. Irvin Santana gets a standing ovation out here of the sixth inning. As we go to our half of the sixth, Minnesota leads 2-0. When misses Irvin Santana, 18 balls and 56 strikes. There's another slider for a strikeout. Batista goes down and Santana gets a standing ovation. As it's seventh inning stretch of baseball time and your code is delay. As in rain delay, something that has not happened here, knock on wood. Bring delay down to section 131 to get 10% off your caribou order. Emmett Hudson, five games, six ERA. Six innings worth of work, two strikeouts, surrendering 375. Hey, see if he can do it again. Gives this thing a good drive, left field. This thing is going, going, gone! Nehemiah Rose, second home run of the day. 387 feet. Wowzers. Three nothing twins. Now the White Sox are hoping for a rain delay. <laughs> what is happening to Nehemiah Rozu here today? Just over the wall there. And that will do it for Irvin Santana. As here comes Buddy Boucher with the setup. Santana gets an ovation. Six games, one save, 108 ERA. Eight, one third innings, six strikeouts. Surrendering minimalistic numbers here to the batters. So here we go. Buddy Boucher's hometown favorite. Well, not a hometown favorite, but a Twins favorite. Big fly caught by <laughs> Paul Fritchie. And the fans erupt as they show Irvin Santana's final line score. Seven innings, two hits, no runs, no earned runs. One walk, five strikeouts. 75 pitches, easy day of work here at the Wolf Fork. Actually, you're not because it's it's three outs. Need it, he bobbles it, throws it down to first. He still got him. What a play, Thaddeus Rozu. So looking to tack on extra runs here. Fritchie, Peterson, Earnhardt do up. Bottom of the eighth. Swarzak, six pitches thrown. There goes Fritchie. Pitched out, and we got a stolen base here in the eighth inning. I don't know why we're stealing, but... And here comes Mauricio Bernstein. Six games, three saves. 6.0 ERA. Six innings, 10 strikeouts. 286 to left, 187 to right. See what Mauricio can do here on for his fourth save of the season. Come on, Ump. 1-0. Oh. Strike one. One and, one and one now. Foul the way, strike two. One and two to Tilson coming up top of the order. There's Mauricio Bernstein, another strikeout. Two outs away from victory. Tilson is angry. I almost said something else there. He Bob Laker 0 for 3. Worth noting, struck out last time up. Mauricio Bernstein hits him. Nope, hit the glove. There's a high, yeah. Mauricio Bernstein, four strikes away from putting this thing away. There is Rozu to Fitzer. One more out, and this game is over, and we win the series three games to one. It's all up to Eli Ojeda, unless they pinch hit here, which they will not. As of now, of course. Strike one. Two more to go. Now, if you're Mauricio Bernstein, you want to end it on a strikeout. That's the dream scenario for closers. One and one. Slider. Oh. High fastball. Two straight balls by Bernstein. Foul the way. Two, two. Baseball logic says you don't swing at this. Unless if it's close. He does. 
He doesn't get the strike up, but Mauricio Bernstein will put the game away, and the Twins win 3-0. Victory will go as I drop my cellular telephonic device to Irvin Santana. Pick up his third win of the season, winning his pitcher now in Twins for the season. Tied with Todd Schmidt, actually, I do believe. Losing pitcher, no doubt, will be Quintana. And the save, Mauricio Bernstein. Final line score is coming up next. Rainy evening. Twins lead. Twins win 3 0. His record is now 3-0. The loss goes to Jose Quintana. He falls to 1-2. Time of the ball game, 2 hours and 39 minutes. Our paid attendance at Target Field this afternoon, 40,000. A reminder that extra... So 40,000 people saw the two-and-a-half-hour ball game it definitely didn't seem like 40,000, but hey. Player of the game is Nehemiah Rozu. Two for three, two home runs, two RBIs. For Chicago, Yohan Moncada. One for three, triple. Matthew Curtis, one for two, base on ball. That is a walk. Tim Anderson, one for three, strikeout. Jose Abreu, 0 for three. Losing pitcher, as you heard, Jose Quintana. He'll fall to one and two. Six innings pitch, four hits, two runs, two earned, two walks, three strikeouts. Far yard victorious Minnesota Twins. Nehemiah Rozu, of course, player of the game. Tevin Fair, one for three, home run, RBI scored a run. Jeffrey Earnhardt, one for four and a double. Josh Fitzer, for two with a walk. Your winning pitcher climbs to 3 0, winning his pitcher in Twins territory this season. 3 0, seven innings pitch, two, home, two hits allowed, no runs, no earned. He does get the shutout if he pitched nine innings, but he left in the seventh. One walk, five strikeouts. Now, for the Twins, you could have left him in, but they went with Buddy Boo shares. I mean, you had a couple run cushion here, but either way, it is what it is. Mauricio Bernstein gets to save his fourth on the season. We're going to get you back to the main screen, preview the next series. Two-gamer against Cleveland has been Randy Replay. Once again, your Twins victorious. 3 nothing. Take the series three games to one. And hello and welcome back to the main screen. Derek Fahey, 2-1 record, 278 ERA. We'll go up against Danny Salazar looking for his first win. Sitting at 0-2 with a 350 ERA. Twins 10-5. and five. Cleveland 7-9. and nine. If we take a look now at the standings, the Twins are one and a half game back of the Tigers. Who are at 12-4, and four, so this... Cleveland series is very, very important for that. So a couple injuries there. For Alan Adair. Very nice. So Irvin Santana tied for first place in pitching wins at three. Uh, once again, your Twins win 3 nothing and take the series three games to one against the White Sox. This has been Randy Replay. I will see you in the next one.